So sometimes in development, we have issues that need a closer look to understand why they're actually important. Mm -hmm. The year 2016 being the official year of the pulses, so the official year of chickpeas, lentils, beans, and so on, is one of these topics. Why do we have a year of the pulses? Why is it important? The year of the pulses. Well, after researching them, I know that they are uh, extremely important for, for three reasons. Uh, they are uh, very important from a nutritional point of view. Um, pulses are one of the cheapest sources of protein for a lot of people in, uh, in, in the world and mostly in developing countries. They're um, uh, very important from a farming systems perspective, so making, uh, making farming systems more climate resilient. And they are very important uh, from uh, an income generating point of view, not only because it's usually women that grow uh, pulses, but also because of the processing part, there's lots of, uh, lots of opportunity for, uh, for employment in, in small and larger scale processing. You've been part of a joint paper by ECTBM and FAO on the trade in pulses in Africa and the Horn. So what, what's, uh, what are the key messages of the paper? The key, one of the key messages of the paper is that despite this huge potential, both uh, from a nutritional point of view as from a, from a, a farming systems, making them more climate resistant point of view, is that pulses have been neglected and, and under-researched, under, underfunded, both uh, from, uh, from a public uh, investment point of view in research and extension, as from private, private sector. So what are the main constraints, or the main barriers uh, that are blocking the use of the trade in pulses? The constraints will be different uh, in, in every situation, depending on uh, the size of the farmer, the, the agroecological conditions, if there is a, like a, um, uh, a problem with, with pests or plagues of a certain crop that people are used to, uh, uh, to grow. Uh, there's diseases that uh, affect uh, pulses and can uh, destroy whole harvests. So uh, sometimes farmers do uh, perceive uh, growing pulses as a, as a higher risk, but that's also because of this lack of investment by government in general of having uh, not so having an extension uh, system that doesn't reach small farmers or that's still very old-fashioned and and is uh, only very focused on technical solutions instead of also taking into account um, uh, access to markets or access to to inputs. So are you hopeful that, uh, given all the examples you just mentioned, are you hopeful that more attention being paid to pulses uh, will have an impact on food security in Africa? Well, I am convinced that if you pay attention, more attention or there's more awareness of all these benefits of pulses, that it will have an impact on food security both from, from a, a diversity of, 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 uh, of diets. I mean, uh, it's not only good for uh, undernutrition, but it's also such an important um, component of healthy diets, while obesity is, is a growing concern, not only in, in, in the Western world, but also growing in the developing world. Uh, and uh, it's going to be such a crucial issue in making, in making farming systems uh, more climate resilient with, with changing weather patterns, where lots of pulses are more drought resistant. But, but we do need a lot more um, um, investment both in research uh, and in, in, in public policies where there's still a lot of uh, advantages going to grains. Uh, so there's still a lot of work to do. Thank you.